Good morning, all my kids. I'm Auntie Kara, and this is Auntie Kara's Story Time. Today we are going to be reading My Garden by Kevin Henkes. Um, but first, I want to say a very special hello to my nephew Dominic and my niece Kensley. I hope you guys are well. I miss you, and I love you so much. I also want to show you guys um, this really cool candle holder. My friend does already. Let me see. You can hold it like this, or like this. I've got a beautiful candle, and it's fun to carry it around and pretend I'm in a castle or something. <laughs> All right, let's dive in. <clears throat> My mother has a garden. I'm her helper. I water, I weed, and I chase away the rabbits so that they don't eat all the lettuce. It's hard work, and my mother's garden is very nice. But if I had a garden, there would be no weeds, and the flowers would keep blooming and blooming and never die. In my garden, the flowers could change color just by my thinking about it. Pink, blue, green, purple, even patterns. And if you picked a flower, another one would grow right back in its place. In my garden, the rabbits wouldn't eat the lettuce because the rabbits would be chocolate and I would eat them. If I planted seashells, I'd grow seashells. If I planted jelly beans, I'd grow a great big jelly bean bush. Sometimes in my garden, good unusual things would just pop up. Buttons and umbrellas and rusty old keys. In my garden, there would be birds and butterflies by the hundreds so that the air was humming with wings. The tomatoes would be as big as beach balls, and the carrots would be invisible, because I don't like carrots. <laughs> At night, the morning glories would stay open, shining like stars, and the strawberries would glow like lanterns. It's night now. Only the fireflies and the porch light are glowing. Before bed, I take one seashell from the shelf in my room and go to the garden. I poke the seashell into the ground. Who knows what might happen? I cover it up with dirt and pat down the dirt with my foot. What are you doing? asks my mother. Oh, nothing, I say. Just working in the garden. And that is the end of the story. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I do. It is a great, great spring book. And I hope you guys are having a lovely start to your spring and doing some gardening of your own. Ta-ta for now. Don't forget to keep reading, and I will see you next week.